Hey Vikes, how's it going? Today we have a story on the Super Bowl. And SVTV starts now. The Fine Arts Showcase and Variety Show will be Thursday, February 1st. Come early and check out the exhibits at 5 o'clock before the show begins at 7. The cost is $5. Has someone close to you passed away? Ms. Schrader will be hosting a grief group for those students who would like to walk alongside each other through one of life's most difficult experiences. Mrs. Schrader will be leading this group as part of her classes to become a school counselor. The first meeting will be Friday, February 2nd in the Viking Conference Room at 10.30. Outside date forms for Snowball are still available and are due Tuesday the 6th. Uh, for 10 to 12th graders, you need to see Mrs. Varner in the front office, and freshmen need to see Mrs. Naylor. If you're a senior having trouble affording a yearbook, we have just the scholarship for you. Hag Oil Company is, operating, is offering financial scholar, age scholarships. Pick up an application for Mrs. Nyman in C2 or in the counselor's office. These are due February 14th. The ACT prep classes will be at our school on February 15th in the library. Registration deadlines is February 9th and the cost is $40. The Spirit Club is asking all students to help decide our spirit days for Snowball. The survey will be linked in Schoology and the themes will be announced on Twitter. If you would like to create a design for any item to be sold online to the Norse Nook, stop by and see Mr. Tinsley for details or contact him on Schoology. If you're interested in working with the school store in any way, please contact Mr. Staley. Now for the break, we'll go over me for, with sports. Bring them back, bring them back, you can't check them out anymore. Bring them back. Bring them Don't forget to turn on your books to the library as soon as you finish reading them so that other students can enjoy the web too. Here I stand, and here they'll stand. Bring them back, bring them back. You can't check them out anymore. Bring them back, bring them back. When in the cafeteria, make sure to do the following. Use your manners. Thank you. You're welcome. Follow the lunchroom procedures. Respect and appreciate the lunch staff. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Be welcoming to all. That test in English was hard. What'd you get on it? Use quiet voices and appropriate language. Report all bullying. Clean up after yourself. Be a Viking. Respect the cafeteria. Seaman strong. On Friday, SHS will be wearing yellow with Washington Rule to show our support for one of their students who passed away this weekend. I was able to catch up on some students and teachers on who they thought was going to be who's going to win the Super Bowl. Let's go check it out. Aaron, I went around to go see who y'all thought was going to win the Super Bowl and what the score was going to be. Let's go check it out. Eagles, because I don't like Tom Brady. Patriots, because Patriots are a better team. 28-27. Like 30 to 5. I think Seaman High School's football team is going to win the Super Bowl just because um, I really love the way they run down the field. 69 to 27. 
Well, I'm rooting for the Eagles because I'm tired of Brady and that whole crew. And we have family friends in Philly that we've been friends with for 25 years. So we go see them about every other year. So we're really rooting for the Eagles. I, I'm looking at 20 to 23 Eagles. The Eagles, 32 to 27 because they have the better colors. I think the Eagles are going to win because that's my team. And it's going to be... 27 to 23. The, the Eagles, because Patriots are the inflators. Oh, the Eagles, and I don't have a reason. Just because. 27 to 2. Uh. Uh. <laughs> 6 to 27. <laughs> Um, I know that the Patriots and the Eagles are the Super Bowl teams, um, but I don't really care who wins. I won't be watching the game, and if I do, it's for the commercials. I don't know. 24 to 20? Uh, I think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl, and I think they're going to win 28 to 24. Uh, Philadelphia Eagles, because I think they're better than the Patriots, and it's time for the Patriots to lose. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, probably... 24-17. Um, Patriots. Eagles. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they are, I don't know. Next. <laughs> 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 I think that the Eagles, because the, the Patriots cheated and they're the Deflatriots. Terrible reason. I think the Patriots, because I know nothing about football. Eagles, because, I don't know, my gut instinct tells me Eagles. Um, I think it's gonna be a really close game. Like, I don't know, help me. 21 to 14. 21 to 14. You can ask her. 28 to 21. 32 to 29. 21 to 17. Well, to, to the question, it depends on whether you're an optimist or a pessimist. Uh, and I'm a pessimist. I think the world is made up of uh, darkness and sadness, and the Patriots will win. Um, I assume that the, the Eagles will be ahead uh, by a lot, and then I'll be really excited, and then the Patriots will come back and uh, rip my soul from my body. So just like last year. Exactly, yes. Wow, it looks like a lot of people think the Eagles are going to win. What's going on, Vikes? We do turn much colder tomorrow, but first, we have to get through tonight. And tonight, we do fall to around 27 degrees, but you can see, not the biggest rebound for tomorrow as we struggle to break the freezing mark. And then, we usher in a snow chance after a warmer day on Saturday. A slight snow chance for your Sunday morning and afternoon. Really, no accumulations are expected at this time, but stay tuned for future updates. And now, for your SVTV 5-day forecast, you can see that that slight snow chance comes with another reinforcing shot of much colder air on Sunday. Today in history, it's Day Backward National and Justin Timberlake's birthday. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we had for today, Vikes. Make sure you attend the Variety Show tomorrow night. Have a great rest of your day. Just bounce